Good evening, good evening on this uh, boring yet, you know, productive Monday. Um, I got something that I want to discuss today. Um, black businesses. I am a full advocate of supporting our people, supporting black businesses. Anything from beauty supply stores to restaurants um, to the nail techs for when I take my daughter to get her nails done, uh, clothing stores and whatever else, you know, that I can't think of at the top of my head right now. Um, yes, I'm all for supporting our people, but I got a few bones that I got to pick with black businesses. Um, this is going to be a short video, two part video. Um, but let's get to it. Number one, when you say y'all, you all are open or you open at 11 o'clock. I expect for you all to open at 11 o'clock, not 11, 15, not 12 o'clock, not 11, 30. But 11 o'clock, hell, personally, I think you should be ready to take orders or accept people walking in, crack them doors open at 10.55, answering them phones at 10.55. Me, to the, hell, the earlier, the more ambitious and the more driven and professional it seems to me. That's just my personal opinion. Um, but many times I'm going to the store, I'm thinking they open and they not. If it says 11 o'clock on your pamphlets, uh, online or whatever the case may be, be open. Number two. Why are you all always running out of stock? This more so applies to restaurants. If rib tips or shrimp or whatever is like the hottest um, thing on your menu, why not keep that in full stock or have some backup stock or however it works? Uh, maybe I'm out of my league here when I speak on that. I don't know. But it's always the same restaurants that has these issues. I'm not going to put any businesses or anything on front street i'm not here to talk or, or, or put anybody out there bad like that i'm just speaking in general so let's get that out the way okay so bone number three that i have to pick with black businesses answer the damn phone please why do i have to call 20 times just for y'all to finally pick up and say such and such please hold you could have did that the first time that I called. Just bam, da 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 da. Please hold. I would rather you have me on hold for a minute versus me having to call constantly, over and over and over. That's just ridiculous. Like I understand places get busy, but it should be all. It should always be somebody available to pick up the phone. Come on, man. Like this is twenty twenty. Like answer the fucking phone. Last but not least. Black business owners, if you have people working under you, please understand that these people are rep are a representation of your company and your brand. So please hire people who know how to carry themselves when it comes to customer service. Um, hire someone who's well-spoken, professional, a whole lot less attitude. Please. I understand customers, the whole saying that the customer is always right is some bullshit because you got some ignorant ass customers out here. Hell, I've probably, um, you know, got on the nerves of someone once or twice in my life when it comes to customer service. Uh, but come on now, hire somebody that knows how to speak, knows how to talk. You know, like this is, you know, you want our hard earned money, so. Hire people in, that are on the front, that's going to be on the front lines, that knows how to represent themselves, let alone the company. Honorable mention, some of y'all places so fucking slow. <laughs> if I order something at five, why the hell am I not getting my food until like 6.30? And yes, that has happened plenty of times. Like I said, I'm not going to name no places because I'm not going to put nobody out there bad like that. But Hey, it's just a, you know, a couple of gems that I would like to drop because I love black businesses. I love supporting my own. So there you have it. Peace.